There are some boats that when you see them, you immediately know what they are. Distinguishing lines, a classic design, and hulls that continue to set the standard by which other offshore sport fishermen are judged is the trademark of an Albemarle boat. One look at the layout, the power plant, and the creature comforts so often omitted on traditional fishing boats, and it's easy to see why Albemarle commands such a loyal following. These functional fishing machines are built for big water, and for good reason. Albemarle's cut their teeth in the often tumultuous waters off the coast of North Carolina, and anglers around the world have come to count on Albemarle's reputation for building a boat that can take whatever Mother Nature dishes out and still come back to the docks with a full fish box. The 410 Express is one of the sleek new boats in the Albemarle lineup, and I had the chance to get up close and personal with one at the Miami Boat Show. This is the 410 Albemarle Express Fisherman. And Ted, the first thing I notice about this boat is how big the cockpit is for a 41-foot boat. That's right. We've got a 110-square-foot cockpit here. There's mm -hmm. plenty of room for multiple fishermen. You can move around without running into each other. Mm -hmm. There's room here in the cockpit to mount a fighting chair Absolutely. or a rocket launcher. Mm -hmm. Big fish box. The fish box itself is removable. You've got two big handles here, and that gives you access down below to the lazarette. A great piece of engineering. Gives you easy access to your rudder board, mm -hmm. to your bilge pumps, mm -hmm. the hot water heaters located in the back, mm -hmm. and your fuel pickups are also back here at the back side of the, of the cockpit. This is something unique to me. You know, you don't really see oversized live wells oversized. in a boat like this. This live well, I mean, you can put big blue runners in this and keep them all day. That's right. Plenty of room there for storing live bait. Mm -hmm. Over on this side, we've also got a stainless sink for cleanup, right. sure. bait prep. And here we've got a freezer as well, storing frozen baits. Now, you know, my first glance at this boat, this has got a lot of the amenities that a boat much bigger would normally have. Is that right? That's right. That's the goal when we designed it. We want Perfect. to make this boat owner feel like they're on a, on a yacht. Exactly. Another example of Albemarle ingenuity is this hydraulically controlled engine room hatch, which revealed twin Caterpillar C-12s. This well-lit compartment provides easy access to oil and fuel filters and makes routine maintenance chores a breeze. One of the first things you notice when you walk up on the helm deck is the comfortable seating for sure. six that surrounds the back side of the deck and then these two comfortable release Beautiful green chairs. Yeah. helm chairs. Up Beautiful here. chairs. And a huge footprint on the console on the station there that allows for oversized electronics. I really like that. When we designed this boat, one of the things we took into account were the oversized electronics that are on the market today. Garmin, Raymarine, Northstar continue to put out larger and larger displays. Bigger is better. So we wanted to put plenty of room up here so that today's customer could, could equip this boat however he likes it. Another thing that I really appreciate about a boat like this is you've got 360 degrees of visibility. There's not a lot, even when you're sitting here at the helm position, you've got plenty of height, there's lots of room uh, and there's nothing to obstruct your visibility. So you've got, you know, essentially control of the boat, which is what you want, all the time. That's right. Uh, provides for great visibility, like you said. It also provides an open feeling. Makes it, this helm deck feel larger than it is. You don't feel confined when you're sitting in here. Did you also notice the air conditioning? I was just going to say, as <laughs> open as this boat is, it's darn cool in here. That's right. We have plenty of vents that allow us to keep the back door open with the air condition on it makes it more comfortable in here. Let's take a look down below. Sure. Now again, Ted, for a 41-foot boat, this boat is expansive down below. There's a settee area that turns into a bunk. Another berth, that's correct. Right. This is a high-low table we've got here. This table drops down, cushion pull out, and we make another berth right here. Sweet. Sleeping, sleeping accommodations for two more. All right, a nice-sized galley area here. And we've got solid surface countertops. Mm -hmm. Uh, cherry uh, cabinetry here, over under refrigerator freezer drawers, which are nice oh, when cool. you're out in a rough sea, you don't drop your food out mm -hmm. into the floor of the boat. Mm -hmm. Convection cool. microwave oven. Uh, great entertainment center. Great entertainment center. But then there's a whole berth up front. Forward. That's yep. right. We have a queen size island berth up front. We've also got a hanging locker to the port side with a TV and a DVD player mounted above it.
and there are two doors to the head here, uh, one from the galley and one from the master suite up front. And if you could excuse me just for a second, I think I've got to go. Hey, Ted, thanks for the tour. This is a great looking boat. Thank you, Cephas. I've enjoyed showing you the boat this afternoon. One thing we really pride ourselves on is overbuilding our product. Mm -hmm. uh, we use only the highest quality components. We take pride in what we build and our customers take pride in owning them. Well, you got me convinced. The Albemarle 410 Express. Check it out at an Albemarle dealer near you. The Miami Boat Show draws people from all across the country who are looking to see the latest and greatest the boating industry has to offer. One such person is George Sharp, who traveled all the way from New Jersey to find the perfect boat to fish the mid-Atlantic coastline for stripers and bluefish, as well as the canyons far offshore to tangle with tenacious tuna. The same features that have long endeared me to Albemarle put this boat at the top of George's list too. I wanted to see the new offerings of the companies because I'm in the market for a larger boat, such as a, uh, an express boat used for sport fishing in the Northeast. I gravitated toward this Albemarle because I knew that they had been around for a long time. They built a solid boat, and it's an industry standard. It's, it's something to compare others against. And next year when I look at this boat, I'm going to still think how sharp it is, how good it is. The same thing I'm going to look at 20 years from now.